Hello, welcome to the Crafty Dragonfly podcast. My name is Stephanie and this podcast is going to be all about crochet and anything else I can find to chat about with you. I This is my very first episode so I am a little bit nervous and hopefully I'm looking directly at the camera and not somewhere else so I'm not quite sure how it's going to go with the podcast with how with the setup so I'm just going to go with the flow and we'll see where that takes us so what I'll do is I'll start with where you can find me first of all I'm on Instagram as the crafty dragonfly and there's not much else to say really at the moment uh, I don't have much much more I've done a, a few short tutorials on my channel and uh, I just thought rather than keep doing those I'd sit outside my comfort zone and try a little podcast and see where that takes me mainly because I have a lot of projects on the go I am easily distracted with new things that come onto the market that I see on Instagram for instance and I just think I want that pattern so I get it I buy all the yarn I may start it and then something else distracts me so I am a little bit like a dragonfly I suppose um, where I are more, more of a butterfly where I, fluff, I, I flutter about from one project to another I don't mind having lots of projects on the go because it depends how what mood I'm in as to what I like to work on in the evenings or during the day for that matter so I'm hoping that you find it a little bit interesting I do watch a lot of podcasts and I just love watching them I love to find out what people are working on and it, it brings me a little bit of joy so if I can do that with one or two people out there then that's that would make me very happy so I'm going to start with some finished objects I think first of all so I can get those out of the way and then I can chat to you about what whips I have on the go. Okay. So this links to a, 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 tu a very small tutorial I've done on coasters on my channel. So they're very simple and I've just worked them up in um, in Scapey's Stonewashed Excel, this, this particular one. It, it is so it's, it's quite large you can see the size of my hand there and um, and I did another one which has got my cup of tea on at the moment which I'm just going to grab a sip of there's another one here which is in Scapey's stone washed just an ordinary size the DK weight so that that's quite a lot of little bit smaller than than that one you can see the difference but I do like them because especially for a cup um, they are they, they sort of hug the cup when you put it down so I do like that Um doesn't take much does it to <laughs> for me to like things but um, but yeah I do I do like that so they're very simple to work up in. It's a free pattern and I'll leave the link to that below in, in the description box below. So that's my first finished object. Then I have a market bag which I wanted to get finished in back in August so I could take it away with me on holiday so I'll insert a picture here of the finished bag on location which is what I wanted to do 
so it's it was lovely actually it was um it's a free pattern and the designer who i'm sure you've heard of is uh, stephanie lau and her website is allaboutarmy.com and she's also on instagram so it's a really lovely pattern um the cotton is 24 7 cotton in denim the one i used and it's a very it's a lovely cotton to work with it's very strong and it's made up of a series of granny squares which um I think there's how many granny squares are there all together 13 13 granny squares and then it's made up in a specific way to make it into a bag and then what you do is you crochet the handles and um, and that obviously makes it very strong you use a specific stitch for that which I've forgotten what the stitch is it's waistcoat stitch so it's a very it's a lovely stitch and it makes things very very strong so it's it's I, I love it uh, I used it quite a bit on holiday I kept all my um, yarn in as well so I had it all and I had it all there um, and I also lined it just to give it a little bit more strength so the Wild Rose Market bag pattern was quite easy to follow. Um, there are lots of pictures in the pattern, um, which I am quite a visual learner. So I, I can read patterns and I am getting better at it but I do like lots of pictures too. So I would recommend it for that. It does have quite a few, few pictures, uh, which is nice. And um, yeah, overall, it was a, a really lovely pattern. And, um, and then you block it at the end and then you sew it together in a certain way. And then as I say, you do the straps. So, so, what I've done, what I've been working on recently, is this is a paid for pattern. It's by a French designer. You can find her on Instagram. She's Lulu Compatine on Instagram. It's a beautiful feed. Uh, lots of lovely pictures of dolls. I can show you the front of it. Um, and it's just... I've fallen in love with it it's, it's beautiful so what I did is it's a downloadable pattern so as with any downloadable pattern you immediately get it and uh, but what I did was because I again like books and things I like think to be able to touch and and have a look at things I had it printed and I've not used this printer before, um, but it was on my phone. I just found it. I'll leave the link to it below. Very easy to do. You just upload your project or pattern or whatever it is you want printing to their website. You pick the quality of paper that you want and the finishing. I picked spiral bound because when you're looking at the when you're reading it you can it sits flat on the desk or wherever you're working so I, I like it for that pattern wise instructions I found quite easy again I have worked quite a few amigurumi patterns now did I say it was amigurumi um, I've worked quite a few, there's a few here that you can see, so I wouldn't say I'm a complete beginner at amigurumi. So I've found it okay, um, it's, it's, there's 
a little bit of a different way of working certain things but I won't give too much away because obviously it is as I've said a paid for pattern so I've enjoyed it I worked worked it using some of my stash yarn that I'd got because I wanted to check first to see whether I was able to make it um so it's for my niece for Christmas not this particular one and I'll I'll tell you why in a moment but I just wanted to use the stash yarn that I had to practice to make sure I could make it and and then I would know which yarn I was going to buy to do the proper the the original doll this is my prototype doll and there's a reason for that so um it as i say it's worked in all one piece apart from the arms so and you obviously have to stuff it as you go the reason why this is a prototype is because it's like a nodding dog and i know what i've done i just didn't stuff the neck firmly enough so that's why I want to do another one for my niece so that she doesn't have floppy head syndrome. But for now, I'm enjoying it. I've worked up the little dress. I Yesterday, I, I crocheted the bag. I had um, half an hour or so that I wanted to just sit down and work some crochet. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I am thoroughly enjoying it at the moment. So, but as I say, very floppy head syndrome so it's not not good enough to give away as a gift so but I'll continue to work on it and continue to do the the various clothes that come with the pattern if you check out her Instagram and obviously it links you to her Etsy shop I think it is then you, she does lots of other little clothes that, that you can purchase, which I am going to purchase the next set that she's just released because they are more autumn, winter. And I want her to have a, a little wardrobe so that she's got lots of things to dress it up with. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's just the, the nodding head bit I don't obviously don't like. Which brings me on to... I think that's all the finished objects. Oh, I have got one more, which is this blanket. Now, this is a, an old whip I had, and um, I decided earlier on, a, a couple of months ago now, to finish it so that I would have uh, another lovely blanket to look at and to use in the evenings if we were watching a film or if it was just a little bit chilly. So again I've used Scapey's Stone Washed, works up really well, washes well and the, the I love the variegated colour of uh, Scapey's. So and I just put a simple ripple border on, I think that's what you call it, um so it's I haven't blocked it because I don't tend to block blankets because they get picked up you know you like you throw them over you you throw them in the ba basket when you've finished that kind of thing so I don't bother blocking them but it's a, just a simple v-stitch pattern and just a couple of rounds of double crochet and then the ripple border at the top so or is it a wavy blanket wavy I can't remember the name of the border now um but it, it's not it's a lap blanket size it's not huge but it's just enough and um yeah that's all I can say about that really so on to um I'll just take a just have a quick sip I've been out this morning just taking the dogs out and um, it's lovely outside today very autumnal that word 
Um, and I love autumn. I just love it. Love it more than summer. It's my favourite season. I love it because of all the changing colours in the heather on the moors behind us and the leaves on the trees, how it feels a little bit fresh and you have to put a, a coat on. I just, I love that. And I've taken a little bit of video footage. So just to break things up a little bit, I might just insert that here for you. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of video footage. Um, that's just where we take the dogs most days and uh, weather permitting of course because it can get quite muddy so, um, so I hope you enjoyed that. So I think the last um, work in progress I've got is the from the recent little box of crochet now I did do an unboxing video of that which I'll leave the link above me if you fancy having a quick peek at that and um, I've subscribed to Little Box of Crochet for some time as I did say so on that video so um, the, the boxes are bigger now they've gone to every other month but you still pay for them on a subscription monthly if that's what you want to do which is what I do and uh, you get a nice big box that arrives in the post every other month so the next box is due in October so this is the project it's partly finished hence it's in the work in progress section and um, it's using a yarn and colours epic I've not used this yarn before I love the neutral shades of it and um, it's going okay. I, I, it's it's quite a, obviously it's a cotton yarn, and uh, which is great for this duffel bag. So and I, I'm hoping to get it finished for next time when I've filmed. It comes with a booklet, as I said in the video, with lots of instructions and little box of crochet usually provide a link that they send to you for some help with videos, tutorial videos, so you don't get stuck basically. If you're a bit worried about reading this pattern, um, then you can, she, uh, Emma from Little Box of Crochet films tutorials, so she can help you. So yeah, I'm, I'm not, not too far on with it, but it's not doing too bad at the moment so that's uh, a work in progress so that's that one and what have I got next I've got the sorry I'm looking down here because all my projects are down here I started when we went away in August I started the Sophie's Universe now it's this pattern was brought out I think it was back in 2015 I am late to the game with it as with all patterns I don't tend to do them as they come out I get excited about them and I potentially buy them and as I said at the beginning I buy the yarn and then it gets put away and um, and then I might start on something else so I thought it would be a nice project to take away on holiday 
I'll insert some pictures here of, again, of pictures that I took whilst we were away. And it was just a really nice project to work on. And again, it's done in Scapies stone washed XL this time. I've done this one in. And it's just so lovely. It's a, a lovely, lovely yarn to work with. And it, it is very easy to work with as well, the yarn. Now, what I did do, as I said, I'm a visual learner. So I worked off initially some videos that it's all in a nutshell has filmed on YouTube. So I started off with a little bit of help from her. And then I carried on, I'll just hold it up actually so you can see, it's not blocked at the moment, it's not finished either, so, but I have enjoyed the process of, of working the, the different stitches. So I then um, developed my confidence and started to read the pattern in the book. Um, this book I bought, I don't know when I bought it, but it's beautiful. It's a very heavy book. It's however many pages it's got in it. And what I like about it is, it again, it has lots and lots of pictures, um, which is great for me. So, but again, I did, I, I, I could read it easily on the pattern. So it's not... It's not difficult to read it at all. She's done incredibly well with it. So I think I'm up to part four, I think, off the top of my head. I think I'm on part four now. Yes, I am. So, and there are um, 18 parts to it. So it is very early on. But again, I'm not worried about that. I think it's something that over time I will pick up, work around on it, practice reading patterns instead of um, watching a video. But if I do need help, I can dip in and out of the, the videos, as I've said. So, but I'm not, there's no deadline on it. I'm not worried about when it's going to be finished. I just know it's there. And if I feel like working on it one day, then I'll pick it up and that's what I'll do. And I think lastly, I have happy post. I hope I'm looking at the camera as well and not looking all over the place. But when I watch it back, if, if I pluck up the courage to watch it back, I will have a see and um, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So the, the happy post I've got for this week is, as I said to you with the, the doll, now I've finished her and I'm confident with what I'm doing, I decided to order some Rikurumi in 25 gram skeins. And I have worked with Rikurumi before in one of the little box of crochet boxes. I think it was the August box from last year. They had, uh, they put Rikurumi in that project and that was for the little baskets here that I've got at the side of me. So that's Rikurumi. As reg with regards to cotton, it's lovely it's absolutely beautiful it's very soft and some cottons that I've used in the past I find make can make my finger quite sore because everybody holds their hook and yarn differently I have it where it comes through here through this little, my little finger and this finger and some cottons and some um, acrylic yarns actually I found can make it quite sore if I if I have it there and that but that's just the way I hold it so but with this with Rikurumi it's beautiful and I'm a little bit in love with it at the moment I have to say and the shades of it are, are gorgeous so 
I, I got these from Lovecrafts. I'll leave a link to them below if you fancy having a look. And just all the shades are just beautiful. They're not on, on the actual band, that there's no name of the shade. It's just the product, uh, the code. So I think that's just because they do, they have quite a, a few, but it, they're just, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I, I have started the second doll. Um, I haven't got very far with it. And um, I've literally just done a little tiny leg. <laughs> um, so that's why it's in here, which these, I'm, I'm using these as, as yarn bowls at the moment. So, but I'm thoroughly loving it. So I think Rika Rumi will be definitely my go-to cotton that I use for projects in the future. And the last happy post is this beautiful project bag, which I got from Alex Collins Designs. She's on Instagram. She has her own website. I'll leave a link to it below or I'll insert it somewhere on the screen. And she uses organic cotton. She screen prints, so she prints all of the designs herself. And it's beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Perfect, my neutral shades again. Um, it's lovely. I can't, it's lined. And um, yeah, I'm, thir I'm really, really happy with that. And she put in a little card uh, just to say, hi Stephanie, I really hope you enjoy using your new bag. Thank you so much for supporting my small business, Warmly Alex. And I, I love that when people put, they take the time to put little um, notes in. I really like that, so I'll be keeping that. And she put in a little notepad, which was a surprise. So I'm, I'm really happy about that too. I love station me, as you'll find out if I do any more videos. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I think that's all I've got to ramble on to you about today. I hope you've made it this far. And if you have, I'm really, really grateful that you have. And if you would love to see more videos, I'd be really grateful if you would either let me know in the comments below or if you're not a subscriber already, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And if you feel like it, you could like this video. If it's something that hasn't been too disjointed and I'm just hoping that I can get it all together and make it into some nice little video for you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.